Good morning. Uh, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I had reports that this privy is the worst on the trail. So I'm gonna go up there and check it out. <sighs> Let's go see. Well, looks okay on the outside. It is by this camping area. Well, the vents kind of tore up. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Okay, we're okay. Getting it up. David, how long you been out here? Been out here since April 3rd out of Damascus. And uh, you're going where? Uh, going to Katahdin, <laughs> going and then to... I'm going to come back to Damascus and walk back home to Georgia, where I'm from, Atlanta. Uh, how many miles a day are you doing? Uh, 18, 20. Yeah, and uh, you just retired. Uh, I retired at the end of 2017. Ah, and that's why you're doing this. <laughs> I was enamored with the trail for several years, but I guess everything kind of worked out. Um, I have a son in college and one who's 17. He spends most of the time in his room, so I think he's good. So I <laughs> asked my wife for permission. And, she uh, said she's good. She was okay, so uh, it's good. So I was, I'm going to see her today, actually. Oh, so you miss her? Oh, yeah. I haven't yeah. seen her in two months. They just drove up all day yesterday from Atlanta. School's out. Uh, she's a teacher, so looking forward to seeing them. All right. It's going to be great. Well, it's been great hiking with you, man. I really have enjoyed it. Have a good one. <laughs> Thanks, boy, <Chuck. laughs> Lego clouds. Okay, we're moving this morning. Uh, I think we're gonna do like 20 miles or something. And you saw David it up in that interview. He's meeting his wife today. Is she gonna, and I think she's gonna hike with him a little. And then we're gonna catch him later on down the line, I hope, because I'm gonna be going to work and then I may just run into him later. And we're all headed to the same spot. And uh, we'll see how far we get today. You know, if you, if you plan one thing in the morning, but we'll see how far we get. So come on, let's go do a day hike this morning. Just for me, I like a, a hiker in it. <laughs> hey, Bubba. What are you guys up to? <laughs> For a day hike. Day hike. Me too. Every day. <laughs> yeah, you look like a true hiker. Yeah. When did you start? Uh, I started in the middle of February, and uh, Giggles there started in the middle of March. Oh, wow. It's fun. And it's still fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think we finally found the rocks. They're not so bad yet. Maybe they get worse. But there are rocks. And we still have a hundred and something miles left to Pennsylvania. So we'll see. Just for a break. Oh boy. You're going to drink it out of a filter so you'll. It is huge. Cool. I tried not to film your butt when you bent over just then. I think I did all right. <laughs> but somebody left us water in a jug. Oh, you don't have to go down to the spring. Oh, yeah. We had a bunch of Boy Scouts in here and they just left. They were nice. Wow, Expedition Magician on Instagram. We have pineapple and apples and those macaroons and some other stuff in the
bear box. So I just happened to open up and it said trail magic. Mm. Wow, these are good. Ooh. Days like these, when you're trying to get mileage, you kind of miss the trail. But I don't know if you can see or not, but the trees are okay. Uh, but there's no real views. I say that, and then of course there's going to be one right up here. But, uh, you know, that's in 24 um, miles. You know, I mean, so you look at the trees and you're having a good time, but you're trying to push the miles. To push the 24 miles, you have to really kind of head down, push your head. And I hate that. That's not really hiking. That's. I don't know what that is. It's like physical exertion, uh, just all day, just push, 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 push. But sometimes you have to do it, I guess, on this long distance hiking. Um, you can't just sit here and look around. Uh, I'm trying to stay with the group that I'm with, and the reason I picked them was so that they would push me along, and they are, and they're great. So those two choices, you know, uh, just a little exhausting is all I guess. Uh, my legs are loving it. Even on this rocky ground, the rocks just started since the river. Uh, it is Pennsylvania. I expected a lot more and they, they're saying as you go, it gets worse in northern Pennsylvania. And it has started now. We're on rocks more than we aren't. Um, but I guess what I'm trying to say is I like hiking, but I hate slogging. And what we're doing now, we're trying to slog out some miles. And I just, anyway, not really thrilled with it. But if I'm ever going to get done, I'd have to do this occasionally. And today is one of those days. It's just the dues you pay to go long distance hiking. We were talking about stars and seeing stars and that's one thing about this trip. Maybe it's because I stay in a lot of shelters or the weather's been tough, that kind of thing, but the stars have not really been there for us. Uh, I know back home, when I took the Swamp Fox Trail, I would keep the tarp open and look up through the screen and you'd see, hey y'all. And I would see thousands of uh, lightning bugs. And they were amazing, amazing, you know. Uh, but I was talking to Giggles, and she was telling me how when she was out in Utah, the stars were amazing. She would see, she said she would look at them until she counted 10 shooting stars. And she said she'd get that in just a few minutes. It was just beautiful out there, and so now I want to go out there and see that. Not necessarily hike it, but maybe. Uh, you know, I can now, that's for sure. Uh, but just to go out there, you know, and go look at it. And there's so much more than just this Appalachian Trail and this country to see. But at least I'm seeing Pennsylvania right now and it's different it's different than the south in the south each state has been a little bit different and uh, i am enjoying it i hope you guys are too <laughs> i don't see any gosh wow love it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, gatorade awesome. wow yeah, wow. Oh, yeah. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. There's not even a name on it. It's great. Whoever yeah, it was. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. That was totally screwed up. Now it's video. Hey, uh, what's your names? Danger Bird. Drew. Drew. Uh, they just did uh, trail magic up there. They're awesome. Thank you very much, thank man. He's 2015. <laughs> right? Give him a fist bump. I can't do it because yes. I'm home. Yay. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. So, uh, Chauncey and our gang just went by. Um, the girl that's, what's her name? That's Jukebox. Jukebox. Jukebox is, uh, 
but she is so nice. She's, Tupac is very nice. And uh, we met the two guys in Duncanum last night, but they didn't say anything about being with Chance. Maybe it's a security thing and they don't want other people to know. We don't know. And then Chance blew by, but she didn't have much to say, but she comes off really nice in her videos. All right, so we're there headed to the same shelter we are, so maybe we'll get some videos up there. The Horseshoe Trail, 120 miles from the origin of Valley Forge. That's pretty good. And Cyrus C. Sturgis, linguist, translator, editor, trail companion, par excellence. He must be. he got a big old plaque. Yeah, pretty good. Well, we're coming to the end. we got an hour and a half left, and it's 4 o'clock. But the lights have gotten really dark and the storm's starting to move in. Yeah, I got my pack cover on. And under the pack cover, I have my rain jacket if it gets really, really wet. I guess I'll put it on. Oh yeah, it hit. Oh. The storm came through not too badly. Uh, everything got really wet. And we're hoping that's it, but we doubt it. But we maybe, it was a big bunch of rain come through, cooled everything off. Uh, Giggles' new shoes got muddy. Oh, no, here it comes. It's coming back. Yeah, it's circling around us. So, we'll just make it through. So it's a nice shelter. It's full at the moment. It has a table. <laughs> nice guy we just met. <laughs> and uh, look at this. It's got a trough and everything for water. So we're going to get some water and then go park up there in the grass, I think. Since the storm looks like it has left us. Thank you.